Speedy Time with Johnny Patterson driving has the number one post position, and he's followed by Way Wave and Ralph Baldwin, High Test and Frank Irvin, Al Sam with Earl Beatty, Cape Horn with Johnny Chapman, Dale Cameron driving Meadow Chuck, Curly Smart behind Dugo, Cold Front and Clint Hodgen, and Stanley Dancer handling Henry T. Adios. Riley Kelch moving in behind the gate. Speedy time on the rail. Way wave and high test. And Al Sam's the first one out of that gate. Al Sam's away on top as they go into the turn. High test is right there second. Now as they move into that turn on top of the field. Al Sam by a lane. High test is right there second. Speedy time is pacing third. Way wave is fourth. Dugo is nail fifth. Henry T. Adios is sixth. Cape Horn is seventh. Meadow Chuck is eighth. Dugo, no place to go. Now starts on the outside to move up. It's Dugo, now pacing up third on the outside. On top, it's still Al Sam as they near the quarter mark. And they hit the quarter in 30 and a fifth. Dugo's the horse on the move. It's Dugo now on top. Al Sam is second. Around the turn, high test is third. Speedy time is still fourth. As they come around the turn, Way Wave is fifth and Henry T. Eddie is sixth. Cape Horn seventh. Way Wave moving out of the five hole and Henry T. Eddie is right after. It's Way Wave and Henry T. Adios moving up on the outside. Dugo has the lead as they come down to the halfway mark. But on the outside, Way Wave is challenging for and going to get that lead. And that's Henry T. Adios following her closely. And Cape Horn is three horses back. As they go into the turn, they were down to half in one, one, and a fifth. Moving to the back stretch now. It's Dugo, but Way Wave has the lead. Dugo is second, but Henry T. Adios is challenging for that position. As they straighten out on the back stretch, it's Way Wave on top. Henry T. Adios second. Dugo is third. Al Sam is fourth. Cape Horn is nailed fifth. High test is sixth. Speedy time is seventh. Meadow Chuck is eighth. As they move down to the three quarter mark. On the lead, it's Way Wave by a length now. Henry T. Adios is second. The three quarter time, 131 and three fifths. As they round that turn, it's Way Wave and Henry T. Adios. It's those two. High test is still up in contention around the turn. But on the front end, it's Way Wave. And it's Henry T. Adios second. Al Sammy's third. High test is fourth on the outside. Cape Horn is fifth. At the head of the stretch, it's Way Wave and Henry T. Adios. It's going to be between those two. It's Way Wave on the inside, Henry T. Adios on the outside. They've gone to the whip. It's Way Wave hitting that wire by just a half a lane. And Way Wave becomes only the fourth filly ever to win a heat of the little brown jug. On the Castleton Farm election in Kentucky, trained and driven by Ralph Baldwin, the little bay daughter of good time, courageously outlasted the charge of Henry T. Adios. 